What's up guys, it's Alex here, your friendly reef dog. Now last week I told you about the five fastest growing soft corals. And while SPS corals are infinitely more difficult to keep, in the right conditions they will grow very fast indeed. So today I'm gonna to tell you about the five fastest growing SPS corals. Now if you're new to the channel and you want weekly reefing goodness, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on anything. Right, let's get to the list. Number five on my list of the fastest growing SPS corals is Staghorn aquapora. Staghorn is a general term for the type of aquapora corals with thick branches that spread out in a loose growing pattern. And my god can these bad boys grow. In the wild you'll see entire reef crests covered in staghorns. And if you want to keep one in your aquarium, the only thing it will need more than space is regular haircuts. Because the branches are nicely spaced out, they're also great hiding or resting places for certain fish. And my falco hawkfish loves chilling out in this particular stag. But you'll have to take my word for it, because I sat by the tank with my camera for an hour, trying and failing to get footage. Then the second I put my camera away, he turned up. Cheers mate. Next up is plating Montipora or Montipora capricornis for all you science nerds. The most common types are red, green and purple plate, but there are some other much more attractive colour variants like this Montipora undata, which is a kind of bluey, greeny, teal, duck egg type colour with blinging white polyps. One thing that may attract you to plating Montes is that they can form an awesome upward spiralling pattern, but more often than not, you'll find that it just grows into a giant slab. Now I don't know if it's only certain varieties that scroll, or if it's the flow and lighting conditions that influence that. But either way, it's still a pretty cool coral, especially as one of your first SPS corals. And because it grows so fast, it's also dirt cheap, so don't pay more than £20 for a frag of the more common colours. Number three on my list of fast growing SPS is Stylophora. Now Stylo will grow in a much more predictable pattern than Montipora, and should end up resembling a brain, or a child's drawing of a tree. And making a stylo garden is easy enough, as you can again get different colour variants. Personal favourites of mine are the green and pink and rainbow colours. Just don't expect them to show their best colours unless your water quality is on point. Now stylo is one of the more difficult corals to frag on this list, which means keeping its rapid growth in check can be difficult. Its branches grow close and don't extend out far beyond the base, so getting a pair of coral cutters in to do some bonsai work can be a little challenging. So giving a bit of thought to placement is a good idea, and you don't want to do what I did and put it in one of the most inaccessible parts of your tank. For the runner-up, we're dipping back into the Montipora pool, this time with Branching Montes. There are plenty of varieties of Branching Montes, including this Montipora stellata, which my hawkfish is posing on this time. Although, of course, he's got his back to the camera in protest. While branching Montes will spread quickly, they're fairly easy to trim back and they don't tend to lay down a large base on their rock, so if it gets carried away, you can just snap off a few bits and give them to your reefing buddies. The red and green branching Montes tend to fluoresce really brightly under blue LEDs too, and the forest fire Monty combines red polyps with a green skin for a really cool look. And top of the podium of the fastest growing SPS corals is bird's nest coral. Now I'm grouping together a few species here that all share similar traits. They all grow more or less bolt upright without giving too much thought to laying down a base over their rock work. And they all have fairly thin branches, particularly the hystrix varieties. And while those traits mean it will grow like Peter Crouch, they also make for a very brittle coral. I've lost track of the number of times I've accidentally fragged my bird's nest corals, the most significant example being when I snapped off 90% of my mother colony when trying to snap off a 1 inch frag for a mate. But it reforms its branches as quick as the bad guy from the Terminator, so it'll probably have grown back by the time you've taken your clumsy fragging arm out of your tank. Now all the corals in this list have similar care requirements in that they will prefer stronger flow and stronger light, which basically means they'll do well in the top half of your tank. And I'd love to know which of these is your favourite, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for next week. And until next time, happy reefing.